Welcome to Of Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And friends, this morning, breaking news, very, very serious. Um, Marad uh, Gazdiev, who is a um, RT reporter. I actually follow Murad uh, quite closely in the things that he uh, reports for RT. He's in Aleppo. Uh, very, very uh, outstanding journalist. Uh, but he posted this morning... Um, that uh, this one lady, and, and her name is Manisha Raish, um, and uh, it says here on, on her own Twitter account, it's about time for a presidential assassination. I, I could hardly believe my eyes. Now, I noticed that Marat, he screen captured the page, and that way he could photo, you know, he could do it. He writes on here, she's a British journalist, calls for assassination of Donald Trump. She writes... Uh, for the Guardian and Telegraph about uh, Secret Service investigating. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Then he puts on there, Secret Service is investigating uh, this claim here. Now, real quick, yes, she is a jur uh, journalist. She does write for uh, the Guardian and, as he said, the other uh, paper as well. I pulled it up just to see some of her work here, Manisha Raish. Uh, you can see her picture here on the top of the screen here, just on this side here, right above the guy there that she's doing an article about. Yet, yet another American has been detained in North Korea, so why do they go, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, I took and I pulled her name up on Twitter and uh, or pulled up this, this particular thing, got another one where someone had retweeted her tweet, but when you touch on Manisha's page, now it says, sorry, that page doesn't exist. So her page has been either pulled down or she has taken it down herself. Uh, no doubt fear for the backlash. And uh, I must say, oh, by the way, that's uh, Brother Paul Begley. He's there in uh, Israel on the tour with the people there. They're very excited there. Uh, but anyway, uh, as, I, as I begin to look at this, I have to say, guys, understand one thing. You know, I'm glad to see Trump got in as president because it averts a war with Russia. And there's things that I like about Donald Trump, but there's things that I'm cautious about, as I have shared with you already. That close connection with the Vatican through certain people uh, that concerns me of what direction they may try to take him. And by the way, we know they're trying to force his hand already. Uh, I know Paul Begley reported this morning that he has three major things that he's wanting to do when he gets into office, which those are good things. He wants to, uh, one, deal with the Obamacare plan, trash it and go to something new. He wants to build his wall on the southern border. He wants to um, uh, also bring jobs back into America. So he is putting America first. Those are good things. I like that about Donald Trump, that he's willing to do those things like that. I appreciate the fact that he wants to make Jerusalem Israel's capital. Now, I think in, with that being said, Donald Trump means good for, the, for Israel in regards to that. Does he not know, though, that the Pope is playing that, using the people that he's surrounded by in order for it to really be for the Pope of Rome, the building of the Third Temple, for the Pope of Rome, etc.? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm, I'm very cautious when it comes to those things there. But something like this is absolutely absurd for a woman, a journalist, no less. It's about time for a presidential assassination. This is absolutely absurd. Now, I know that Donald Trump's name is not here, uh, so she can get away maybe with what she said. But, uh, I mean, you got someone like uh, Murad Gazdiev, who's a journalist for RT News. He picks up on it as well. We see what's going on as well. This is not totally not good. This is only feeding the, the, the protests in America, which last night, I think it was in Portland, Oregon, they stepped it up a bit. And they said now that the protest has turned into a rioting and they're warning the crowds it has gone to a riot, a mob instead. And they're going to end up locking down the nation if it doesn't stop. Uh, I know there's a lot of people concerned about what will uh, uh, Obama do before Trump gets into office. Let me tell you something. Germany's defense minister is already putting the pressure on Donald Trump to stand with NATO. NATO is telling him, the defense minister of Germany says to Donald Trump, we were there for you in your 9-11. You need to be with us, with our crisis with Russia right now. 
So he's getting a lot of pressure put on him. And we're going to have to just see whether or not he caves into this pressure, whether or not he really agrees with Russia that they get Crimea, whether, they, whether or not he tells them to back off with this Ukraine issue, whatever is going to be the case, we're going to see what's going to happen. We're watching it closely. I'm concerned. I'm concerned about when people start making comments like this. That's totally uncalled for to call for an assassination of the president. Totally uncalled for. You know, I mean... Donald Trump is worlds better than, than the other choice that we had with Hillary Clinton, clearly, without, without any question whatsoever. You know, I will express my own concerns as time goes on, as I think, see things and see how they develop. If we see Donald Trump takes more of an independent stand and is not influenced by Rome, not influenced by, uh, not, not all the, uh, the evangelical group by no means, but there are certain key people in the evangelical circle that, are, that have definitely gone back to the Mother Church of Rome, and that's where my concern is. So these are the things that we are watching closely here. Anyway, again, very, very disheartening thing to see that this journalist has said this, and this may totally destroy her career. I, I have no idea. You just do not make that type of, uh, uh, as a journalist especially, that type of incitement. Um, so it's very bad. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.